Hello children. I am told that you have been really busy with a whole lot of summertime activities. My name is Sonia and today I have brought a few stories for you. Stories which you can listen to, stories with which you can participate and when we finish the story, I hope you have all your beautiful drawing, colouring, painting and cutting things and you can put down on paper whatever you imagine. Some of you can just draw, some of you can listen, draw and write. So the choice is yours. So are you ready? I am going to take you to this beautiful land where there is a little, a tiny bird called Chirpy Chip and she loves to make friends. And she's a very, 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 very chatty bird. And she keeps singing, cheep, cheep, chirp, chirp, and looking for friends. So she flies out and she finds a huge hippo. And what does she say? Cheep, cheep, chirp, chirp, and she makes friends with the hippo. Then she flies to find another friend and finds the fat bear. And this time she says, chirp, chirp, cheep, cheep and makes another friend. Then she still flies further, finds a thin deer and says, cheep, cheep, chirp, chirp. And the deer says, hello. And she finds one more friend. But chirpy chip wants lots and lots of friends. So she flies ahead. And she finds the long snake. And what does she say this time? She says, chirp, cheep, chirp, cheep, chirp, cheep. And the snake looks up and says, oh my God, look at this talkative bird. And says, hello. And she has another friend. And then she sees a short caterpillar. It's not as long as the snake. Looking at her from under a leaf. And what does she say? She says, chirp, cheep, chirp, cheep. And the caterpillar looks up and Chirpy Chip has one more friend. But Chirpy Chip wants many, many friends. So she flies ahead and she finds a big elephant. She looks at the elephant and says, Hello, chop, 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 chop. And she sits on the elephant's trunk. And the elephant smiles at her and Chirpy Chip has one more friend and now she finds a small little rabbit and she looks at the rabbit and says chip 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 and the rabbit looks up and says oh my god who is this and chirpy chip finds another little friend then she looks up and sees this tall giraffe and she looks at him and says, chirp, 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 chirp. And the giraffe says, hello there. Now she finds a shot monkey. Now this monkey is also very talkative. And it looks at Chirpy Chip and goes, chitter, chatter, chitter, chatter, chitter, chatter. And what does Chirpy Chip do? She goes, cheep, chirp, cheep, chirp. And oh my God, they have such fun. And they become friends. So Chirpy Chip has found lots of friends and she just loves them. So can you remember the friends Chirpy Chip has? Let's count them. So the first friend was the hippo, the huge hippo, the fat bear, the thin deer, the long snake, the short caterpillar, the big elephant, the small rabbit, the tall giraffe and the short and very very chattery monkey. So how many friends are there in all? Can you quickly count them on your fingers for me? So chirpy chip and the next one is the hippo, the bear, the deer, the snake, the caterpillar, the elephant, the rabbit, the giraffe and the monkey. So how many friends did she find? She found 10 friends. So can you remember and draw all of them? 
and make this beautiful uh, place where all the friends can meet and chitter, chatter and chirp and cheep. Garmi ki chutiya aur summer camp. Khoop sara maza aur thodi si kahaniya. Kyunke summer camp hai, to aaj mein aapko suraj ki kahani sunati ho. To suraj jo roz nikal ke aata tha, apna rumal lana bhul jata tha. Suraj ki mammi usko roz yaad dilati thi. Lekin suraj फिर भी भूल जाता था एक दिन खूब बारिश आई और सूरज को हो गया जुकाम अब सूरज को समझ में आया कि रुमाल का क्या था काम मम्मी क्यों कहती थी रुमाल लेकर जाओ फिर वो मम्मी के पास गया कहा मम्मी मुझे भी दे दो एक रुमाल तो मम्मी ने खूब सारे रंगों का सूरज को दिया एक खूबसूरत सा रुमाल अब सूरज उसको तय लगाकर अपने पास रखता था और जब बारिश आती थी और खत्म हो जाती थी तो वो रुमाल निकाल के इतना सुंदर इंद्रधनुष जैसा रुमाल सबको दिखाता था और जब सब ऊपर देखते तो सूरज का रुमाल उनको दिख जाता था इतने सारे रंगों का रुमाल तो अब सूरज को बड़ा मजा आता था और उसने जाके अपने मम्मी को बहुत बड़ा थैंक यू बोला कि थैंक यू आपने मुझे इंद्रधनुष का रुमाल दिया तो आप सबके पास इंद्रधनुष के रंग हैं आपके क्रेन बॉक्सेस में आपके पेंट बॉक्सेस में जरा चेक करें कि आपके पास रंग हैं कि नहीं सो कलर्स ऑफ द रेनबो तो हम दो चीज करेंगे हम एक तो इंद्रधनुष के रंगों का नाम सीखेंगे और उनको हिंदी में पढ़ना सीखेंगे ठीक है तो हमारा पहला रंग बैंगनी गहरा नीला नीला हरा पीला नारंगी और लाल तो हमारे कितने रंग हैं सात रंग हैं और हमारे को अब रंगों का ना के नाम आ गए हमने रंगों के नाम को पढ़ना सीखा थोड़ा सा कोशिश करेंगे कि हम लिखना भी सीखें उनको और सबसे अच्छी बात जो हम करने वाले हैं हम अपने क्रेन बॉक्सेस से पेंट बॉक्सेस से अपने पेपर के साथ इतने सारे रंग निकालेंगे और इन रंगों को इस्तेमाल करके एक बहुत सुंदर सी ड्राइंग बनाएंगे ठीक है और पता है आपको एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग बात बोलो कुछ चीज़ें तो कहानियाँ होती हैं लेकिन जो बाहर प्राकृति होती है नेचर होती है उसको भी हमें देखना चाहिए तो आप एक छोटा सा एक्सपेरिमेंट करिएगा मम्मी के हेल्प के साथ एक ग्लास ले लीजिए पानी का उसको ऐसी जगह पे रखिए जहाँ पे सूरज की किरण आ रही हो ठीक है तो सूरज की लाइट आएगी ये ग्लास में से जाएगी और दूसरी तरफ आप एक सफ़ेद कागज़ पकड़ेंगे और देख कर कि इंद्रधनुष के रंग आपको इस कागज़ पे दिखे या नहीं दिखे तो इंद्रधनुष कैसे बनता है कभी कभी आप ऑब्ज़र्व करिए मम्मी डैडी से पूछिए और कभी आपको पता चले तो मुझे ज़रूर बताइएगा ठीक है तो रेडी फॉर ड्राइंग रेडी फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट ठीक सो वेलकम टू द लैंड ऑफ कलर्स because we are going to be working with lot of colors lot of drawing lot of fun lots of crayons lots of paints lots of cutting and pasting so we are going to look for the land of colors so are you ready to go with me so once upon a time there was a land of black and gray there was no color anywhere and an angry king lived in that land with his queen then one day a butterfly came flying to this land so close your eyes can you see a butterfly what is the color of your butterfly and the butterfly came 
to this land of black and grey. You have to decide the colour of your butterfly and ask the king, why is your land this way? Why is there no colour around? Why is there no happy sound? So the angry king said, I like my land this way. I don't want any colour at all. So the beautiful butterfly said, come with me to my land of the summer sun. Come with me and see what colours may be. And the queen told the king, come let's go with the butterfly. And the butterfly took the, la the king to the land of beautiful colours. There were colours all around. There was pink, blue and green and it was the most beautiful land the king had ever seen. So he looked at the butterfly and said, Butterfly, your land is so beautiful. Can you make my land as beautiful as yours? Can you bring your friends with you and drop beautiful colours in my land of black and grey and make it colourful all the way? So the butterfly was really a happy butterfly. So what he did was, he called all his friends. They all flew to the sky. Somebody took a red. Somebody took a purple. Some butterfly took a pink. Some butterfly took an orange. And they made their colour land so beautiful for the king. They dropped the colours all around. And now... There is no land of black and grey. There is colour. There is fun. And children laugh and play. So there's this beautiful, beautiful land of colours. And you know what I was using for you children? This is something called a patkatha. In uh, the India, in India, you have a lot of folk tools. There are artists in different parts of the country who use different tools. And this is called a pat katha. A pat means a, a big screen. You can either see it or you can fold it and keep rolling it. So we use these really nice tools for stories for you. And can you recollect the story? And can you draw your own land of colours for us? You can use butterflies, you can use bees, you can use flowers, you can use your imagination. You can use a king, you can use a happy king, a happy queen and just make a happy land of colours. Well, it's summer time and do you remember the story of the thirsty crow? Now this crow went looking for water and then do you remember how he put stones and the water came up and he drank the water and flew away? But then he came out again another day and he was thirsty again but this time he saw some children sitting with some water so he flew he asked them if he could drink some water and they said yes so he drank some water and when he came and looked he saw some colors and he said okay let can I sit down and watch what you're doing so the children said yes and he started watching what they do with colors so what the first one did was, he picked up some red and mixed it in water. Then some blue and again mixed it in water. Now the crow looked really curious and said, oh my god, this is water changing color. How does water change color? And he kept looking at all these beautiful uh, colors and then saw yellow being mixed and the children said that do you know these are the names of the colors this is red this is blue and this is yellow and the crow said oh you know but these are not the colors that I have so one little child got up and said oh don't you worry I'm going to give you a black so the crow became really happy when he saw the black colour and said, Oh, now I know a new name and I am very happy to see my beautiful colour also. So, the red, the blue, the yellow and the black. 
Now the crow decided, so the children taught him the colors and they went away. Now this crow decided that let me take a paintbrush and let me also try and do some, um, you know, color mixing. So what he did was, he picked up the yellow, dipped it into the paint and said, oh my God, I want to see these beautiful colors. And he was so excited about the colors that instead of dipping it in yellow, he picked up the color and dipped it in the red. And he started turning it and twirling it. And then he decided to pick up some more color and put it in red again. And what did he see? He said, my God, the color is changing. And the red became an orange. Now he really started enjoying himself. He said, oh my God, I am going to see what else I can do. So again, he went to the yellow, picked up the yellow, took it to the, green, to the blue glass and started mixing, 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 mixing. Some little thing was happening. So what he did was went back again, got some more color and mixed it. Again, the color was changing, but he was not quite sure what it was. So he dipped a little more blue and said, oh, this is looking sort of greenish. Shall I put some more yellow and see? And he picked up some more yellow, mixed it and slowly the water started becoming green. So he looked at it and said, oh my God, water changes color. Now he became even more curious. He said, okay, now can I mix some blue in yellow and see what happens? So first he mixed the blue and the yellow. Again, he said, I'm going to experiment with it and see what happened. And he said, oh my God, if I mix yellow and blue or blue and yellow, they both become green. And then he looked at the black and said, what do you think I can mix with this? So he picked up some white and put it in the black. Turned it, twirled it, twirled it. And the color was slowly changing, slowly changing. He saw that the color was becoming lighter. So he decided to add some more white to it. And when he twirled it and turned it and twirled it and turned it, he saw that the water was becoming grey. So now this crow became really happy. He called all his crow friends and said, Do you know what I learned today? Many years back, I learned that if, I, if there is water and I put something heavy that sinks in it, the water will come up. And today I learned how to mix colours. And the crow became really, really happy. So now what I would like you to do is go back to your paint boxes and mix colors and see what new colors you can make, right? So today our work with Mr. Crow, Mr. Smart Crow is to mix and learn new colors. So enjoy yourself with colors. So now... Another kind of a story. We are going to tell you a story and you have to listen to the first sound in the words. The sound we are going to work with today is B. As I say the words, when you hear the sound B in the beginning of the word, you have to clap your hands. Okay? So today we are going to do a really interesting story of two brothers. So one clap because you could hear the B in the brothers. Now be ready and keep your clap and your hands ready. So Bantu and Bablu are brothers. They love to play. They love to share and they keep their things really, really carefully and they, sh and they have so much of fun. Now they decided that they want to go out and play. They wanted to go to the park. So what did they do? They asked their mummy and mummy gave them a big blue 
bag the big blue bag has a big blue button so big blue button so they take the bag they open the button and they put a bottle in the bag bottle in the bag then they close the button of the big blue bag then they open the button of the big blue bag and put some bread and some butter then they close the button of the big blue bag then they open the button of the big blue bag and put a bun they also put some biscuits and take the big blue bag and sit in a bus and go to the park they go to the park and they put the bag on a bench and then they go out to play they play with a bat and a ball they also bounce the ball bounce 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 they look up and they see many bees and butterflies they look carefully and they also see some bugs then they open the big blue bag they take out the bottle they take out the bread and butter the bun the biscuits they throw all the wrappers in a bin and they eat their picnic tea time they have fun and then they see a bubble man and the bubble man is blowing bubbles 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 and they enjoy they burst the bubbles and they have a lot of fun so can you recollect all the things that you heard with the sound b so let's just recollect them so what did they see they saw bubbles a bin bugs butterflies and bees bat and a ball bench just before the bench they came by the bus biscuits bun bread and butter bottle button a blue bag and bantu and bablu so what you are going to do is take a piece of paper and try and draw as many things that you can remember and if you can remember all these you can add some more then flip the paper over and behind it think of one more sound you could take another sound and draw as many pictures that begin with that sound so you are going to do these two things and we are going to get ready for the next story now